Anyone who intends to live a life of meaning and a life of purpose must ask question one who am i this is a very simple but powerful question who am i this is a question that seeks to help you understand your identity there is such a phenomenon in our world today called identity crisis that if you do not know who you are life social media the sociological context will try to define for you a template about who you are that may not have been in your original script as designed by god who am i let's look at a few scriptures psalm 49 and verse 20 please help us media let's work together so we can work with time psalm 49 and verse 20 the bible says man that is in honor and understandeth not is like a beast that perisheth one version says a man of honor who does not know will die like a beast in the field that means if you do not know who you are it is possible to live far below god's expectation for you simply because there is a problem with your identity in matthew chapter 16 matthew chapter 16 i'll begin my reading from verse 13 jesus christ was with the disciples and then he asked them a question when he came to caesarea philippi he asked a question saying who do men say that i the son of man am it was a question of identity they had worked with jesus for a few years at this time and yet they did not know who he was next verse please verse 14 they said some say that you are john the baptist some say that you are elias some say that you are jeremiah and some say you are one of the prophets and then he asked them he said now the question is to you who do you say that i am and he was shocked that although they were close to him eating together helping out in his crusades they didn't know who he was it was only peter who spoke and said i know who thou art thou art christ the son of the living god it took the disciples a long time to really know and understand who jesus was in his earth work the question i have for you is who are you do you just believe that you are a biological accident that just appeared as a union between a father and a mother to produce you you are just an entity that makes up the space of the 7.6 billion people on earth many roaming aimlessly through life do you believe you are just a figure in Nigeria census in Africa census who am I is a question every champion must answer when you know who you are you will know who you are not let me give you two scriptures that reveal to you who you are first John chapter 3 and verse 1 powerful scripture first John 3 and verse 1 behold what manner of love the father had bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of god it says therefore the world knoweth us not because it knew him not behold what manner of love the father has bestowed upon us in calling us sons of god do you know what it means to be a son of god it means one who came from God it means one who is like God in every sense of the word you look at the creation of man in Genesis chapter 1 and verse 26 the Bible says and God said let us make man we're answering the first question 
let us make that man in our image the image of god means his spiritual quality man everyone including you was made in the image that spiritual quality of god and then man was made in his likeness his likeness means his functionality to have two hands one head two legs and so on and so forth so man this man that is so confused moving around wondering what his destiny is about the bible says that man was made in the image and the likeness of god i'm no longer slave to fear i am a child of god that i'm no longer slave to fear i am a child listen can i tell you this please look up many of us came from backgrounds where growing up they call you several names to the point that you do not even know who and what you are they named you after your result they named you after your failure they named you after any maybe any health challenge you may have many times in the bible you find out that people were named after their condition a man sat at the gate of jericho at the passage of jericho and the bible calls him blind batimio that's not a name batimio means the son of timio the blind man who is the son of timio what a description and you see we live through all these different names that they call us some call you stupid some call you foolish some call you a cost child because of the region you came from and when it's now time for you to manifest destiny all these names start clamoring around your head and you are unable to move forward but you must answer that question tonight i have heard what my father said i am i've heard what my mother said i am i've heard what my school said i am i've heard what social media said i am god of heaven who am i it's a question you must ask tonight and you must answer i'm giving you help in answering that question i may not be a billionaire's child you may say i may not be a professor's child you may say i may not come from a privileged family but i am a child of god it's a very powerful statement if there is nothing in your life that you think is worth celebrating find rest in this description of your identity i am a child of god matthew chapter 5 from verse 13 to 16 let me tell you what else you are according to scripture matthew 5 from verse 13 the bible says ye are the salt of the earth please shout it after me say i am the salt of the earth one more time say i am the salt of the earth now look up please the assignment of salt salt has two basic assignments number one for preservation number two to add value or taste so when god says through his word that you are salt it means i cannot be a disadvantage to my world you are the salt of the earth a system of preservation and a system of value when you have this identity you don't walk around trying to look for groups to endorse you you don't try to look for friends and association to give you an accreditation god already called you an advantage the bible says and everything adam called it that was the name thereof it's up to you to agree with god and say i am truly salt and you know something about salt women many of you are involved in cooking there are times that if you miss some ingredients 
the food is is already you can't you can't are we together now you have to cut some ingredients at a certain time it is never too late to add salt to food no even if it's even if you make a mistake and you cook and the salt is not there even on the table you can still add the salt and you will not know whether you added it before or after the effect will still be the same say i am the salt of the earth let no one bully you that you came too late no salt is never too late i am the salt of the earth i bring preservation and i bring value the bible says ye are the light of the world give us verse yes thank you you are the light of the world verse 14 now you know what it means to be light light talks of solution light talks of the absence of darkness and confusion and chaos so in addition to being salt, he says to you that i am light someone prophesy say i am light a light to my family a light in ministry a light in business a light in destiny the definition of darkness is my world without me i am light and the bible says john 1 5 that the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not let me tell you this lack of understanding identity is why we have occult groups today because these occult groups create a narrative if you join us they say you are powerful there are many useless groups online offline many groups that are antichrist in context but the pressure to become what god already says you are has pushed people to mortgage their destinies i'm walking in power walking in miracles i live a life of favor because i know who i am walking in power walking in miracles i live a life of favor I know who I am. please hear me i don't care what circumstance led to your birth prepared or not i don't care the the context i don't care how bad your past had been i don't care what the situation is let god be true and every man a liar if he calls you a blessing you are a blessing if he calls you salt you are salt if he calls you light you are light prophesy to yourself in one minute that in the name of jesus i reject from my life everything god did not say i am that relationship is trying to prove to me like i am a non-entity my lecturers respectfully may have called me names that should not be maybe my parents called me names that should not be they call you the black sheep in the family they called you a useless person answer that question tonight i am greatness on my way to happen i am the light the light i am salt i am a child of god a co-heir with god and a joint heir with christ seated with christ in heavenly places far above principalities far above powers in the name of jesus please be seated the first question tonight is who am i i found this question and it gave me rest in my life i took time to study who i was and who i am and more importantly who i was and i am in christ it gave me rest no pressure to prove any point no pressure to try to live to no 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 I don't define myself just by what I wear. I don't define myself just by what I eat. I don't define myself just by what I enter in terms of a vehicle or the house that I live in. 
I need no other argument. I need no other plea. It is enough that Jesus died and that he died for me. It's just for me. Just for me. Jesus came and paid it just for me just for me just for me listen you know the value of a thing by what is used to purchase it when you go to the market to buy things they are in, usually in grades, maybe bags or food stuff. They will tell you this one is 30,000. This one is 50,000. Women, they can bring out one jewelry and say this one is 50,000. Then they bring out something that looks like what you can swallow and tell you this is himself. To become a baby, walked upon the earth for 30 years and died, raised you up with him. And some individual looks at you and says you are a failure simply because of your CGPA. Looks at you and says you are a failure simply because you did not come from a background that gave you some privilege. Can I tell you, settle that question tonight. I may not have all the things that men clamor for for now. But I settle in this fact that I am a child of God.